Mm. There he yeah. is. Are you doing TikTok dances and stuff? Every day, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so today Seth and I are here with Darren Keith from Extreme Makeover Home Edition. So excited to have him on. We are gonna be talking all things design, all things life and life in quarantine and just some interesting things in what he's working on now. How's it going, Darren? Yeah. How you doing guys? So good to see you. So good to see you. Thanks for coming on. So I have to first say, like, I absolutely love Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Congrats on a successful first season. We absolutely loved it. I cried. Seth cried for sure. Yes. A full breakdown. I broke at the first scene. Like, I just snapped and started <laughs> like. <laughs> right. We yeah. want to know what your favorite moment of Extreme Home Makeover was. And if you cried. <laughs> I think it was pretty obvious. I cried almost every episode. Jesse, I think, came up with a nickname for me. It was called Baby Owl. I guess I made this whimpering noise behind everyone when I was, you know, I was trying not to cry. So I was doing this. Uh, so the one episode that sticks out to me, I think, you know, is uh, the Mosley family in Bakersfield. The story was about foster kids. And one of the kids, Miguel, was the only boy in this family. And it was so great to give them a home and to give him his first room. And there was just a lot of emotion um, brewing with this family. So when we gave them the new house, it was really like a new lease on life. It was pretty amazing. The design and the build and everything was really secondary. It was always about meeting the family's needs and what they needed to move forward and how through design, we could help them, you know, through design and functionality, um, continue and flourish. I don't know much about it, but I, I, I know I've seen it out there. What's what's drum creed? I was uh, born in Ireland, and the church that I was baptized in, and where my grandfather is laid to rest, is called Drum Creed Parish. It kind of reflected my heritage, and I thought it was an interesting name. And so that's basically uh, where Drum Creed comes from. So it's your own design company and building company. Yes, my history actually in Los Angeles is I, I, w I was an am an actor still and I was doing carpentry and kind of fell into that and really loved it. Started doing small uh, design builds like tables and benches and things like that. And I eventually got my own shop downtown and kind of started in this industry to be in front of the camera. And then, you know, my two loves kind of fell together with Extreme, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know what you think, you know, the design trends that are happening right now that are sort of slightly unexpected are happening. Yeah, you're seeing kind of a, that 70s wood paneling come back in a different way. So you're seeing that warmth being infused back into homes. I love that trend because I love a really rich wood grain. I think, you know, it brings the outside in. You know, another trend is uh, appliances, these uh, interchangeable colors, you know. I want to change the color of my kitchen. Well, I can change the color of my stove, you know? I'd be yeah. Sure. That's pretty cool. What do you do, like, on a daily basis? Outside of building, outside of filming, outside of being this, like, heartthrob ladies man? Like, what do you, what are you doing? I'm, I'm a big drawer. I love to draw. If I'm around the house and I've got time to kill, I'm usually doodling. Sometimes I'm running or hiking or the gym is out of the question right now. But yeah, I gravitate towards the simple life. I mean, I can't help but watch your social media too, because obviously we're social media fools. <laughs> right. Now, I notice um, a beer or two. You know, I, 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 I drink a very fine beer, which is uh, Miller Lite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you've heard of it. That's the beer pong beer, right? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Not a heavy drinker, but I do like to have a, you know, a beer once in a while. But so, you know, no, no, I don't use power tools when I drink, but <laughs> after, after I use the power tools, there, I'm- There's gonna be a disclaimer that's gonna pop up, by the way, the yellow box underneath you, and you says that, I said that. I know, I'm Good. like, do you have all 10 fingers? Hold them up. <laughs> yeah, I do, I, yeah. I have them. So, okay, so cars, Chevy yep. or Ford? Chevy. Chevy, I'm a big, big Chevy guy. I have two Chevy trucks. I have a 67 uh, C20, which is a long bed pickup truck. And then I have an 81 C20, which is also a long bed pickup truck. And they, the 81 is my daily driver. It's like driving around a microwave. But, <laughs> but I love that truck. Sincerely, man, it was, it was, it was fun to meet you the first time at the premiere, and I yeah. I know I'm a huge fan. I know Mia's a huge fan. I think you did great on the show. It was, oh, it's, thank it's you so fun much. fun to follow yeah. you on social media, too. Yeah. Well, this, the sentiments are echoed. You know, I, I, I told you guys, too. Like, I, I just love the chemistry you guys have and the fun you have, and um, I'm so glad that we get to 
till we get to talk and you came up to the premiere. It was so fun. So <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. Thanks, I really Darren. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's so great to talk to you and um, we'll keep in touch and we'll chat with you soon. Let's do it. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. See ya.